10.2 of the uh, Grade 9 Academic Course. We're looking at, uh, similar to the last section where we did angles in triangles, this time we're doing angles in quadrilaterals, which is, last lesson was three-sided figures, now we have four-sided figures, four-sided shapes. So, and our focus completely um, is on finding angles inside a quadrilateral. And so you're going to find this very, very easy to do. Um, so a quadrilateral is simply a four-sided shape. Some terminology you may see in the in your textbook questions, or you know you might hear me use. The first term um, that you might find weird or different than you've used before is called adjacent, and adjacent just means next to. So if you're sitting, you know Liam is sitting next to Declan, then he is adjacent to Declan. Um, similar in this in this quadrilateral. The red side is adjacent to the blue side and the green side. Or you could say angles are adjacent. Angle A is adjacent to angles B and angles D, right? Because they're next to each other. But it's not adjacent to C. It's opposite to C. If you need more time to write, just pause the tape, but I'm going to move on. Um, another term, angles, uh, supplementary, sorry, supplementary angles are those that add up to 180. So if we look above, assuming this is a square, Okay, then these are each 90 degree angles. So that means that, um, you know, any two would be supplementary because they will, if you add two, two 90 degrees together, you get 180 degrees. The other term is uh, transverse or transversal. It's a line, and in this case, I have line EF that intersects two other lines. So I have these two lines, they're not intersecting anything but this one. But EF intersects two different lines, that makes it a transversal. So the important part, that's just the first part, it's just all the language you might hear me use or you might read in your textbook. But um, the math part is uh, knowing um, interior angles on a quadrilateral. And the thing is that they add up to 360. So if I took these four, you know, here's an example of a quadrilateral. 100 plus 100 is 200, uh, plus 110 is 310, plus 50 is 360. Always they'll add up to 360 degrees. Similarly, a square that's 490 degrees angle, 490 degrees angles, uh, 4 times 90 is 360. Um, same rule applies for exterior angles. The exterior angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360. So these have decimals in them, but if I added, put these in my calculator, added them all up, you'd find a number, uh, you'd find it equals exactly 360. Okay, so exterior angles, which um, are just by extending a side and then finding the angle between that and the next side, the adjacent side, um, they add up to 360 as well. So let's do an example. Uh, interior angle in this case, um, I'm looking for angle X right in here. So simply just say the four angles have to add up to 360. So you take the numbers that you have plus X. Right, the three that I have plus x equals 360. Um, use what we know. Uh, 250 plus x equals 360. So minus 250 from each side, using all our rules of rearranging equations, and you'll find that angle x is 110. Important note, especially when dealing with anything you can see, visual like this, does it look like 110 degrees? Right? And I'm going to say that it does look like 110. You might say, well, what does 110 look like? Well, it's bigger than 90. That would be my basic idea. Is this bigger than a right angle triangle? Yes, it is, and but not by that much. So it makes sense that it's 110. And you should reflect on all your all your answers that way when you can see the answer or visualize the answer. You know, does the number make sense? And in this case, it does. Next, um, really simply looking at um, exterior angles, right? So this time, find y. Well, it's the exact same thing. They have to add up to 360. So you do the exact same steps we did last time, and you'll find that y is 117. Once again, um, maybe more important than doing the algebra, because I know you're good at algebra by now, is looking at it, does it look like 117? And once again, if you look at angle y, it's greater than 90 degrees, right? So it makes sense that 117 makes sense. And, and it's not, you know, huge. It's not all the way out to 180. So it makes sense to me, 117. So that's a good answer. And... Um, that's really it for this lesson. So very simple. The, you know, the questions will get a bit harder as you work through the assignment, but this is the base. And uh, ask for help if you need it, because the next section is our next lesson. Okay.